Section 56 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mario Pineda. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Revenge to Rustic. Revenge. Synonyms. Avenging. Requital. Retaliation. Retribution. Vengeance. Revenge is the act of making return for an injury done to oneself by doing injury to another person. Retaliation and revenge are personal and often bitter. Retaliation may be partial. Revenge is meant to be complete and may be excessive. Vengeance, which once meant an indignant vindication of justice, now signifies the most furious and unsparing revenge. Revenge emphasizes more the personal injury in return for which it is inflicted. Vengeance, the ill desert of those upon whom it is inflicted. A requital is a strictly an even return, such as to quit one of obligation for what has been received, and even if poor or unworthy is given as complete and adequate. Avenging and retribution give a solemn sense of exact justice, avenging being more personal in its infliction, whether by God or man, and retribution the impersonal visitation of the doom of righteous law. Compare avenge, hatred, requite. Antonyms. Compassion, excuse, forgiveness, grace, Mercy, pardon, pity, reconciliation, excuse, grace. Prepositions. To take revenge upon the enemy for the injury. Revolution. Synonyms. Anarchy, confusion, disintegration, disorder, insubordination, insurrection, lawlessness, mutiny, rebellion, revolt, riot, sedition, tumult. The essential idea of revolution is a change in the form of government or constitution, or a change of rulers, otherwise than as provided by the laws of succession, election, etc. While such change is apt to involve armed hostilities, this make no necessary part of the revolution. The revolution by which Dom Pedro was dethroned and Brazil changed from an empire to a republic was accomplished without a battle and almost without a shot. Anarchy refers to the condition of a state when human government is superseded or destroyed by factions or other causes. Lawlessness is a temper of mind or condition of the community which may result in anarchy. Confusion, disorder, riot, and tumult are incidental and temporary outbreaks of lawlessness, but may not be anarchy. Insubordination is individual disobedience. Sedition is the plotting, rebellion, the fighting against the existing government, but always with the purpose of establishing some other government in its place. When rebellion is successful, it is called revolution, but there may be revolution without rebellion as the English Revolution of 1688. A revolt is an uprising against existing authority without the comprehensive views of change in the former or administration of government that are involved in revolution. Anarchy, when more than temporary disorder, is a proposed disintegration of society, in which it is imagined that social order might exist without government. Slaves make insurrection, soldiers or sailors break out in a mutiny, subject provinces rise in revolt. Compare socialism. Antonyms authority, command, control, domination, dominion, empire, government, law, loyalty, obedience, order, rule, sovereignty, submission, supremacy. Revolve. Synonyms. Roll, rotate, turn. Any round body rolls which continuously touches with successive portions of a surface successive portions of another surface. A wagon wheel rolls along the ground. To rotate is said of a body that has a circular motion about its own center or axis. To revolve is said of a body that moves in a curving path, as a circle or an ellipse, about a center outside of itself, so as to return periodically to the same relative position that it held at some previous time. A revolving body may also either rotate or roll at the same time. The earth revolves around the sun and rotates on its own axis. In popular usage, the earth is often said to revolve about its own axis or to have a daily revolution, but rotate and rotation are the more accurate terms. A cylinder over which an endless belt is drawn is said to roll as regards the belt, though it rotates as regards its own axis. Any object that is in contact with or connected with a rolling body is often said to roll, as the car rolls smoothly along the track. Objects whose motion approximates or suggests a rotary motion along a supporting surface are also said to roll, as ocean waves roll in upon the shore or the ship rolls in the trough of the sea. 
Turn is a conversational and in the popular word often used vaguely to rotate or revolve, or for any motion about a fixed point, especially for a motion less than a complete rotation or revolution. A man turns his head or turns on his heel. The gate turns on its hinges. Antonyms Bind, chafe, grind, slide, slip, stand, stick. Riddle Synonyms Conundrum, enigma, paradox, problem, puzzle. Conundrum, a word of unknown origin, signifies some question or statement in which some hidden and fanciful resemblance is involved, the answer often depending upon a pun. An enigma is a dark saying. A paradox is a true statement that at first appears absurd or contradictory. A problem is something thrown out for a solution. Puzzle, from oppose, refers originally to the intricate arguments by which disputants oppose each other in the old philosophic schools. The riddle is an ambiguous or paradoxical statement with a hidden meaning to be guessed by the mental acuteness of the one to whom it is proposed. The riddle is not so pity as the conundrum and may require much acuteness for its answer. A problem may require simply study and scholarship, as a problem in mathematics. A puzzle may be something other than verbal statement, as a dissected map or any perplexing mechanical contrivance. Both enigma and puzzle may be applied to any matter difficult of answer or solution, enigma conveying an idea of greater dignity, puzzle applying to something more commonplace and mechanical. There are many dark enigmas in human life and in the course of providence. The location of a missing object is often a puzzle. Antonyms Answer Axiom Explanation Proposition Solution Right Synonyms Claim Exemption Franchise Immunity liberty, license, prerogative, privilege. A right is that which one may properly demand upon considerations of justice, morality, equity, or of natural or positive law. A right may be either general or special, natural or artificial. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are the natural and inalienable rights of all men. Rights of property, inheritance, etc., are individual and special and often artificial as the right of inheritance by primogeniture. A privilege is always special, exceptional, or artificial. It is something not enjoyed by all, or only to be enjoyed on certain special conditions, a peculiar benefit, favor, advantage, etc. A privilege may be of doing or avoiding. In the later case, it is an exemption or immunity, as a privilege of hunting or fishing, exemption from military service, immunity from arrest. A franchise is a specific right or privilege granted by the government or established as such by governmental authority as the elective franchise, a railroad franchise. A prerogative is an official right or privilege, especially one inherent in the royal or sovereign power. In a wider sense, it is an exclusive and peculiar privilege which one possesses by reason of being what he is. As reason is the prerogative of man, kings and nobles have often claimed prerogatives and privileges opposed to the inherent rights of the people. Compare duty, justice. Rise. Synonyms. Arise. Ascend emanate, flow, issue, proceed, spring. To rise is to move up or upward, whether slowly or quickly, whether through the least or greatest distance. The waves rise, the mists rise, the river rises after heavy rains. As said of persons, to rise is to come to an erect position after kneeling, sitting, reclining, or laying down. As to rise from a sick bed, my friend rose as I entered. The guests rose to depart. So a deliberative assembly or a committee is said to rise when it breaks up a session. A sun or star rises when to our apprehension it comes above the horizon and begins to go up the sky. To ascend is to go far upward and is often used in a stately sense, as Christ ascended to heaven. The shorter form rise is now generally preferred to the longer form arise, except in poetic and elevated style. The sun rises or arises. The river springs at a bound from the foot of the glacier and flows through the lands to the ocean. The smoke issues from a chimney and ascends towards the sky. Light and heat emanate from the sun. Antonyms. Decline. Descend. Drop. Fall. Go down. Set. Settle. Sink. Prepositions. Rise from slumber. Rise to duty. Rise at the summons. We rose with the lark. Rubber. Synonyms Bandit, Brigand, Buccaneer, Burglar, Depredator, Despoiler, Footpad, Forager, Freebooter, Highwayman, Marauder, Pillager, Pirate, Plunderer, 
raider, thief. A robber seeks to obtain the property of others by force or intimidation. A thief by stealth and secrecy. In early English, thief was freely used in both senses, as in Shakespeare and the authorized version of the English Bible, which has two thieves, Matthew 27, 38, where the revised version more correctly substitutes two robbers. Royal. Synonyms. August, kinglight, kingly, magnificent, majestic, munificent, princely, regal. Royal denotes that which actually belongs or pertains to a monarch. The royal residence is that which the king occupies, royal raiment, that which the king wears. Regal denotes that which in outward state is appropriate for a king. A subject may assume regal magnificence in residence, dress, and equipage. Kingly denotes that which is worthy of a king in personal qualities, especially of character and conduct, as a kingly bearing, a kingly resolve. Princely is especially used of treasure, expenditure, gifts, etc., as princely munificence, a princely fortune, where regal could not so well be used and royal would change the sense. The distinctions between these words are not absolute, but the tendency of the best usage is as here suggested. Antonyms. Beggarly. Contemptible. Mean. Poor. Servile. Slavish. Vile. Rustic. Synonyms. Agricultural. Artless. Awkward. Boorish, bucolic, clownish, coarse, countrified, country, hydenish, inelegant, outlandish, pastoral, plain, rude, rural, sylvan, uncouth, unpolished, unsophisticated, unthought, burdened. Rural and rustic are alike derived from the Latin rus, country, and may be alike defined as pertaining to, characteristic of, or dwelling in the country. But in usage, rural refers especially to scenes or objects in the country, considered as the work of nature. Rustic refers to their effect upon man or to their condition as affected by human agency, as a rural scene, a rustic party, a rustic loss. We speak, however, of the rural population, rural simplicity, etc. Rural has always a favorable sense, rustic frequently an unfavorable one, as denoting a lack of culture and refinement. Those rustic politeness expresses that which is well meant, but awkward, similar ideas are suggested by a rustic feast, rustic garb, etc. Rustic is, however, often used of a studied simplicity and artistic rudeness, which is pleasing and perhaps beautiful, as a rustic cottage, a rustic chair. Pastoral refers to the care of flocks and to the shepherd's life with the pleasing associations suggested by the old poetic ideal of that life. As pastoral poetry, bucolic is kindred to pastoral, but is a less elevated term and sometimes slightly contemptuous. Antonyms Accomplished, city-like, cultured, elegant, polished, polite, refined, urban, urbane, well-bred. End of section 56《57》of English synonyms and antonyms。This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org.《English Synonyms and Antonyms》by James Champlin Fernald。From Sacrament to Self Abnegation。Sacrament。Synonyms。Ceremony。Communion。Eucharist。Lord's Supper。Observance。Ordinance, rite, service, solemnity. Any religious act, especially a public act viewed as a means of serving God, is called a service. The word commonly includes the entire series of exercises of a single occasion of public worship. A religious service ordained as an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace is called a sacrament. Ceremony is a form expressing reverence or at least respect. We may speak of religious ceremonies, the ceremonies of polite society, the ceremonies of a coronation, an inauguration, etc. An observance has more than a formal obligation, reaching or approaching a religious sacredness. A stated religious observance, viewed as established by authority, is called an ordinance. Viewed as an established custom, it is a rite. The terms sacrament and ordinance in the religious sense are often used interchangeably. The ordinance derives its sacredness from the authority that ordained it, 
while the sacrament possesses a sacredness due to something in itself, even when viewed simply as a representation or memorial. The Lord's Supper is the scriptural name for the observance commemorating the death of Christ. The word communion is once applied to it, 1 Corinthians 10.16, but not as a distinctive name. At an early period, however, the name communion was so applied as denoting the communing of Christians with their Lord, or with one another. The term Eucharist describes the Lord's Supper as a thanksgiving service. It is also called by preeminence the sacrament, as the ratifying of a solemn vow of consecration to Christ. Sagacious Synonyms Able Acute, apt, clear-sighted, discerning, intelligent, keen, keen-sighted, keen-witted, judicious, perspicacious, quick of scent, quick-scented, rational, sage, sensible, sharp, sharp-witted, shrewd, wise. Sagacious refers to a power of tracing the hidden or recondite by slight indications as by instinct or intuition. It is not now applied to mere keenness of sense perception. We do not call a hound sagacious in following a clear trail, but if he loses the scent as at the edge of a stream and circles around till he strikes it again, his conduct is said to be sagacious. In human affairs, sagacious refers to a power of ready, far-reaching and accurate inference from observed facts, perhaps in themselves very slight, that seems like a special sense, or to a similar readiness to foresee the results of any action, especially upon human motives or conduct. A kind of prophetic common sense. Sagacious is a broader and nobler word than shrewd, and not capable of the invidious sense which the latter word often bears. On the other hand, sagacious is less lofty and comprehensive than wise in its full sense, and more limited to matters of direct practical moment. Compare astute, wisdom. Antonyms. Absurd, dull, foolish, futile, ignorant, irrational, obtuse, senseless, silly, simple, sottish, stupid, undiscerning, unintelligent. Sale. Synonyms. Bargain, barter, change, deal, exchange, trade. A bargain is strictly an agreement or contract to buy and sell, though the word is often used to denote the entire transaction and also as a designation for the thing sold or purchased. Change and exchange are words of wider signification, applying only incidentally to the transfer of property or value. A change secures something different in any way or by any means. An exchange secures something as an equivalent or return, though not necessarily as payment for what is given. Barter is the exchange of one commodity for another, the word being used generally with reference to portable commodities. Trade in the broad sense may apply to vast businesses, as the book trade, but as denoting a single transaction is used chiefly in regard to things of moderate value when it becomes nearly synonymous with barter. Sale is commonly and with increasing strictness limited to the transfer of property for money or for something estimated at a money value or considered as equivalent to so much money in hand or to be paid. A deal in the political sense is a bargain, substitution or transfer for the benefit of certain persons or parties against all others, as the nomination was the result of a deal. In business it may have a similar meaning, but it frequently signifies simply a sale or exchange, a dealing, as a heavy deal in stocks. Sample Synonyms Case, example, exemplification, illustration, instance, specimen. A sample is a portion taken at random out of a quantity supposed to be homogeneous so that the qualities found in the sample may reasonably be expected to be found in the whole, as a sample of sugar, a sample of cloth. A specimen is one unit of a series, or a fragment of a mass, all of which is supposed to possess the same essential qualities, as a specimen of coinage, or of architecture, or a specimen of quartz. No other unit or portion may be exactly like the specimen, while all the rest is supposed to be exactly like the sample. An instance is a sample or specimen of action.
Compare example. Antonyms abnormality, aggregate, exception, monstrosity, total, whole. Satisfy synonyms cloy, content, fill, glut, sate, satiate, suffice, surfeit. To satisfy is to furnish just enough to meet physical, mental, or spiritual desire. To sate or satiate is to gratify desire so fully as for a time to extinguish it. To cloy or surfeit is to gratify to the point of revulsion or disgust. Glut is a strong but somewhat coarse word applied to the utmost satisfaction of vehement appetites and passions, as to glut a vengeful spirit with slaughter. We speak of glutting the market with a supply so excessive as to extinguish the demand. Much less than is needed to satisfy may suffice a frugal or abstemious person. Less than a sufficiency may content one of a patient and submissive spirit. Compare pay, requite. Antonyms check, deny, disappoint, refuse, restrain, restrict, starve, stint, straighten, tantalize. Prepositions Satisfy with food, with gifts, etc. Satisfy one, in the sense of make satisfaction, for labors and sacrifices. Satisfy oneself by or upon inquiry. Scholar Synonyms Disciple, learner, pupil, savant, student. The primary sense of a scholar is one who is being schooled. Thence the word passes to denote one who is apt in schoolwork, and finally one who is thoroughly schooled, master of what the schools can teach, an erudite, accomplished person. When used without qualification, the word is generally understood in this latter sense, as he is manifestly a scholar. Pupil signifies one under the close personal supervision or instruction of a teacher or tutor. Those under instruction in schools below the academic grade are technically and officially termed pupils. The word pupil is uniformly so used in the reports of the Commissioner of Education of the United States, but popular American usage prefers scholar in the original sense, as teachers and scholars enjoyed a holiday. Those under instruction in Sunday schools are uniformly designated as Sunday school scholars. Student is applied to those in the higher grades or courses of study, as the academic, collegiate, scientific, etc. Student suggests less proficiency than scholar in the highest sense, the student being one who is learning, the scholar one who has learned. On the other hand, student suggests less of personal supervision than pupil. Thus, the college student often becomes the private pupil of some instructor in special studies. For disciple, etc., compare synonyms for adherent. Antonyms Dunce, fool, idiot, idler, ignoramus, illiterate person. Science. Synonyms, art, knowledge. Knowledge of a single fact not known as related to any other, or of many facts not known as having any mutual relations, or as comprehended under any general law, does not reach the meaning of science. Science is knowledge reduced to law and embodied in system. The knowledge of various countries gathered by an observant traveller may be a heterogeneous medley of facts, which gain real value only when coordinated and arranged by the man of science. Art always relates to something to be done, science to something to be known. Not only must art be discriminated from science, but art in the industrial or mechanical sense must be distinguished from art in the aesthetic sense. The former aims chiefly at utility the latter at beauty. The mechanic arts are the province of the artisan. The aesthetic or fine arts are the province of the artist. All the industrial arts, as of weaving or printing, arithmetic or navigation, are governed by exact rules. Art, in the highest aesthetic sense, while it makes use of rules, transcends all rule. No rules can be given for the production of a painting like Raphael's Transfiguration, a statue like the Apollo Belvedere, or a poem like the Iliad. Science does not, like the mechanic arts, make production its direct aim, yet its possible productive application in the arts is a constant stimulus to scientific investigation. The science, as in the case of chemistry or electricity, is urged on to higher development by the demands of the art, while the art is perfected 
by the advance of the signs. Creative art seeking beauty for its own sake is closely akin to pure science seeking knowledge for its own sake. Compare knowledge, literature. Security. Synonyms. Bail, earnest, gauge, pledge. Surety. The first four words agree in denoting something given or deposited as an assurance of something to be given, paid, or done. An earnest is of the same kind as that to be given, a portion of it delivered in advance, as when part of the purchase money is paid, according to the common expression, to bind the bargain. A pledge or security may be wholly different in kind from that to be given or paid, and may greatly exceed it in value. Security may be of real or personal property, anything of sufficient value to make the creditor secure. A pledge is always of personal property or chattels. Every pawn shop contains unredeemed pledges. Land, merchandise, bonds, etc. are frequently offered and accepted as security. A person may become security or surety for another's payment of a debt, appearance in court, etc. In the latter case, he is said to become bail for that person. The person accused gives bail for himself. Gage survives only as a literary word, chiefly in certain phrases, as the gauge of battle. Prepositions. Security for the payment of a debt. Security to the state. For the prisoner. In the sum of a thousand dollars. Self-abnegation. Synonyms. Self-control. Self-denial. Self-devotion. Self-immolation. Self-renunciation. Self-sacrifice. Self-control is holding oneself within due limits in pleasures and duties, as in all things else. Self-denial, the giving up of pleasures for the sake of duty. Self-renunciation surrenders conscious rights and claims. Self-abnegation forgets that there is anything to surrender. There have been devotees who practiced very little self-denial with very much self-renunciation. A mother will care for a sick child with complete self-abnegation, but without a thought of self-denial. Self-devotion is heart consecration of self to a person or cause with readiness for any needed sacrifice. Self-sacrifice is the strongest and completest term of all and contemplates the gift of self as actually made. We speak of the self-sacrifice of Christ where any other of the above terms would be feeble or inappropriate. Antonyms. Self-gratification, self-indulgence, selfishness, self-seeking, self-will. End of section 57. Recording by Estelle Jobson, Italy, Rome. English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Estelle Jobson. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. From Send to Shake. Send. Synonyms. Cast, dart, delegate, depute, dispatch, discharge, dismiss, drive, emit, fling, forward, hurl, impel, lance, launch, project, propel, sling, throw. Transmit. To send is to cause to go or pass from one place to another, and always, in fact or thought, away from the agent or agency that controls the act. Send in its most common use involves personal agency without personal presence. According to the adage, if you want your business done, go, if not, send. One sends a letter or a bullet, a messenger or a message. In all the derived uses, the same idea controls. If one sends a ball into his own heart, the action is away from the directing hand, and he is viewed as the passive recipient of his own act. It is with an approach to personification that we speak of the bow sending the arrow, or the gun the shot. To dispatch is to send hastily or very promptly, ordinarily with a destination in view. To dismiss is to send away from oneself without reference to a destination, as to dismiss a clerk, an application, or an annoying subject. To discharge is to send away so as to relieve a person or thing of a load. We discharge a gun, 
or discharge the contents. As applied to persons, discharge is a harsher term than dismiss. To emit is to send forth from within, with no reference to a destination, as the sun emits light and heat. Transmit from the Latin is a dignified term, often less vigorous than the Saxon send, but preferable at times in literary or scientific use, as to transmit the crown or the feud from generation to generation. To transmit a charge of electricity, transmit fixes the attention more on the intervening agency as send does upon the points of departure and destination. Antonyms Bring, carry, convey, get, give, hand, hold, keep, receive, retain. Prepositions To send from the hand to or toward, rarely at, a mark. Send to a friend by a messenger or by mail. Send a person into banishment. Send a shell among the enemy. Sensation Synonyms Emotion, feeling, perception, sense. Sensation is the mind's consciousness due to a bodily affection, as of heat or cold. Perception is the cognition of some external object which is the cause or occasion of the sensation. The sensation of heat may be connected with the perception of a fire. While sensations are connected with the body, emotions, as joy, grief, etc., are wholly of the mind. As the most of them, the sensations, are positively agreeable, or the opposite, they are nearly akin to those emotions, as hope or terror, or those passions, as anger and envy, which are acknowledged by all to belong exclusively to the spirit, and to involve no relation whatever to matter or the bodily organism. Such feelings are not infrequently styled sensations, though improperly. Porter, Human Intellect, Section 112, page 128. Section 90. Feeling is a general term popularly denoting what is felt, whether through the body or by the mind alone and includes both sensation and emotion. A sense is an organ or faculty of sensation or of perception. Sensibility Synonyms Feeling, impressibility, sensitiveness, susceptibility. Sensibility in the philosophical sense denotes the capacity of emotion or feeling as distinguished from the intellect and the will. Compare synonyms for sensation. In popular use, sensibility denotes sometimes capacity of feeling of any kind as sensibility to heat or cold, sometimes a peculiar readiness to be the subject of feeling, especially of the higher feelings, as the sensibility of the artist or the poet, a person of great or fine sensibility. Sensitiveness denotes an especial delicacy of sensibility, ready to be excited by the slightest cause as displayed, for instance, in the sensitive plant. Susceptibility is rather a capacity to take up, receive, and, as it were, to contain feeling, so that a person of great susceptibility is capable of being not only readily, but deeply moved. Sensitiveness is more superficial, susceptibility more pervading. Thus, in physics, the sensitiveness of a magnetic needle is the ease with which it may be deflected, as by another magnet. Its susceptibility is the degree to which it can be magnetized by a given magnetic force, or the amount of magnetism it will hold. So a person of great sensitiveness is quickly and keenly affected by any external influence, as by music, pathos or ridicule, while a person of great susceptibility is not only touched but moved to his inmost soul. Antonyms Coldness, deadness, hardness, insensibility, numbness, unconsciousness. Prepositions. The sensibility of the organism to atmospheric changes. Severe. Synonyms. Austere, hard, harsh, inexorable, inflexible, morose, relentless, rigid, rigorous, stern, stiff, strict, uncompromising, unmitigated, unrelenting, unyielding. That is severe which is devoid of all softness, mildness, tenderness, indulgence or levity, or in literature and art devoid of unnecessary ornament, amplification or embellishment of any kind, as a severe style, 
as said of anything painful. Severe signifies such as heavily taxes endurance or resisting power, as a severe pain, fever, or winter. Rigid signifies primarily stiff, resisting any effort to change its shape. A corpse is said to be rigid in death. Hence, in metaphorical sense, a rigid person or character is one that resists all efforts to change the will or course of conduct. A rigid rule or statement is one that admits of no deviation. Rigorous is nearly akin to rigid, but is a stronger word, having reference to action or active qualities as rigid does to state or character. A rigid rule may be rigorously enforced. Strict, Latin stringo, bind, signifies bound or stretched tight, tense, strenuously exact. Stern unites harshness and authority with strictness or severity. Stern, as said even of inanimate objects, suggests something authoritative or forbidding. Austere signifies severely simple or temperate, strict in self-restraint or discipline, and similarly unrelenting toward others. We speak of austere morality, rigid rules, rigorous discipline, stern commands, severe punishment, harsh speech, or a harsh voice, hard requirements, strict injunctions, and strict obedience. Strict discipline holds one exactly and unflinchingly to the rule. Rigorous discipline punishes severely any infraction of it. The austere character is seldom lovely, but it is always strong and may be grand, commanding, and estimable. Antonyms Affable, bland, easy, genial, gentle, indulgent, lenient, mild, pliable, soft, sweet, tender, tractable, yielding. Shake. Synonyms. Agitate, brandish, flap, fluctuate, flutter, jar, joggle, jolt, jounce, oscillate, quake, quaver, quiver, reel, rock, shiver, shudder, sway, swing, thrill, totter, tremble, vibrate, wave, waver. A thing is shaken which is subjected to short and abruptly checked movements, as forward and backward, up and down, from side to side, etc. A tree is shaken with a mighty wind. A man slowly shakes his head. A thing rocks that is sustained from below. It swings, if suspended from above, as a pendulum, or pivoted at the side as a crane or a bridge draw. To oscillate is to swing with a smooth and regular returning motion. A vibrating motion may be tremulous or jarring. The pendulum of a clock may be said to swing, vibrate or oscillate. A steel bridge vibrates under the passage of a heavy train. The term vibrate is also applied to molecular movements. Jolting is a lifting from and letting down suddenly upon an unyielding surface, as a carriage jolts over a rough road. A jarring motion is abruptly and very rapidly repeated through an exceedingly limited space. The jolting of the carriage jars the window. Rattling refers directly to the sound produced by shaking. To joggle is to shake slightly, as a passing touch joggles the desk on which one is writing. A thing trembles that shakes perceptibly and with an appearance of uncertainty and instability, as a person under the influence of fear. A thing shivers when all its particles are stirred with a slight but pervading tremulous motion, as a human body under the influence of cold. Shuddering is a more pronounced movement of a similar kind in human beings, often the effect of emotional or moral recoil. Hence the word is applied by extension to such feelings, even when they have no such outward manifestation, as one says, I shudder at the thought. To quiver is to have slight and often spasmodic contractile motions, as the flesh under the surgeon's knife. Thrill is applied to a pervasive movement felt rather than seen, as the nerves thrill with delight. Quiver is similarly used, but suggests somewhat more of an outward manifestation. 
To _agitate_, in its literal use, is nearly the same as to _shake_, tho we speak of the sea as _agitated_ when we could not say it is _shaken_. The Latin _agitate_ is preferred in scientific or technical use to the Saxon _shake_, and especially as applied to the action of mechanical contrivances; in the metaphorical use _agitate_ is more transitory and superficial, _shake_ more fundamental and enduring; a person's feelings are _agitated_ by distressing news; his courage, his faith, his credit, or his testimony is _shaken_. _Sway_ applies to the movement of a body suspended from above, or not firmly sustained from below, and the motion of which is less pronounced than _swinging_, smoother than _vibrating_, and not necessarily constant, as _oscillating_; as, the _swaying_ of a reed in the wind. _Sway_, used transitively, especially applies to motions of grace or dignity; _brandish_ denotes a threatening or hostile motion; a monarch _sways_ the scepter; the ruffian _brandishes_ a club. To _reel_ or _totter_ always implies liability to fall; _reeling_ is more violent than _swaying_, _tottering_ more irregular; a drunken man _reels_; we speak of the _tottering_ step of age or infancy. An extended mass which seems to lack solidity or cohesion is said to _quake_; as, a _quaking_ bog. _Quaver_ is applied almost exclusively to tremulous sounds of the human voice. _Flap_, _flutter_, and _fluctuate_ refer to wave like movements; _flap_ generally to such as produce a sharp sound; a cock _flaps_ his wings; _flutter_ applies to a less pronounced and more irregular motion; a captive bird or a feeble pulse _flutters_. Compare FLUCTUATE. End of section 58. Recording by Estelle Jobson. Rome, Italy. Section 59 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mario Pineda. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Shelter to Slander. Shelter. Synonyms. Cover. Defend. Guard. Harbor. Protect. Screen. Shield. Ward. Anything is covered over which something is completely extended. A vessel is covered with a lid. The head is covered with a hat. That which covers may also defend or protect. Thus, troops interposed between some portion of their own army and the enemy are often called a covering party. To shelter is to cover so as to protect from injury or annoyance, as the roof shelters from the storm, woods shelter from the heat. To defend, Latin defendere, to strike away, implies the actual. Protect, Latin protegere, to cover before, implies the possible use of force or resisting power. Guard implies sustained vigilance with readiness for conflict. We defend the person or thing against actual attack. We guard or protect against possible assault or injury. A powerful person may protect one who is weak by simply declaring himself his friend. He defends him by some form of active championship. An inanimate object may protect as a garment from cold. Defend is used but rarely, and by somewhat violent metaphor in such connection. Protect is more complete than guard or defend. An object may be faithfully guarded or bravely defended in vain, but that which is protected is secure. To shield is to impose something over or before that which is assailed so as to save from harm, and has a comparatively passive sense. One may guard another by a standing arm at his side, defend him by fighting for him, or shield him from a missile or a blow by interposing his own person. Harbor is generally used in an unfavorable sense. Confederates or sympathizers harbor a criminal. A person harbors evil thoughts or designs. See Cherish. Compare synonyms for hide, defense. Antonyms. Betray, cast out, expel, expose, give up, refuse, reject, surrender. Prepositions. Shelter under a roof from the storm. In the fortress, behind or within the walls, from attack. Sign. Synonyms. Emblem, indication, manifestation, mark, note, omen, presage, prognostic, signal, symbol, 
symptom, token, type. A sign, Latin signum, is any distinctive mark by which a thing may be recognized or its presence known, and may be intentional or accidental, natural or artificial, suggestive, descriptive, or wholly arbitrary. Thus, a blush may be a sign of shame. The footprint of an animal is a sign that it has passed. The sign of a business house not usually declares what is done or kept within, but formerly might be an object having no connection with the business, as the sign of the trout. The letters of the alphabet are signs of certain sounds. While a sign might be involuntary and even unconscious, a signal is always voluntary and is usually concerted. A ship may show signs of distress to the casual observer, but signals of distress are the distinct appeal for aid. A symptom is a vital phenomenon resulting from a diseased condition. In medical language, a sign is an indication of any physical condition, whether morbid or healthy. Those, a hot skin and rapid pulse, are symptoms of pneumonia. Dullness of some portion of the lungs under percussion is one of the physical signs. Compare augur, characteristic, emblem. Sin, synonyms. Crime, criminality, delinquency, depravity, evil, fault, guilt, ill-doing, immorality, iniquity, misdeed, offense, transgression, ungodliness, unrighteousness, vice, viciousness, wickedness, wrong, wrongdoing. Sin is any lack of holiness, any defect of moral purity and truth, whether in heart or life, whether of commission or omission. All unrighteousness is sin. 1 John verses 17 Transgression, as its etymology indicates, is the stepping over a specific enactment, whether of God or man, ordinarily by overact, but in the broadest sense, in volition or desire. Sin may be either act or state. Transgression is always an act, mental or physical. Crime is often used for a flagrant violation of right, but the technical sense denotes a specific violation of human law. Guilt is the sort of an exposure to punishment because of sin. Depravity denotes not any action, but a perverted moral condition from which any act of sin may proceed. Sin, in the generic sense, as denoting a state of heart, is synonymous with depravity. In the specific sense, as in the expression a sin, the term may be synonymous with transgression, crime, offense, misdeed, etc., or may denote some moral activity that could not be characterized by terms so positive. Immorality denotes outward violation of the moral law. Sin is thus the broadest word, and immorality next in scope. All crimes, properly so called, and all immoralities are sins, but there may be sin as ingratitude, which is neither crime, transgression, nor immorality, and there may be immorality, which is not crime, as falsehood. Compare criminal. Antonyms. Blamelessness, excellence, godliness, goodness, holiness, innocence, integrity, morality, purity, rectitude, right, righteousness, sinlessness, uprightness, virtue. Compare synonyms for virtue. Sing. Synonyms. Carol, chant, chirp, chirrup, hum, warble. To sing is primarily and ordinarily to utter a succession of articular musical sounds with the human voice. The word has come to include any succession of musical sounds. We say the bird of the rivulet sings. We speak of the singing quality of an instrument, and by a still wider extension of meaning we say the tea kettle or the cricket sings. To chant is to sing in solemn and somewhat uniform cadence. Chant is ordinarily applied to non-metrical religious compositions. To carol is to sing joyously, and to warble, kindred with world, is to sing with thrills or quavers, usually also with the idea of joy. Carol and warble are especially applied to the singing of birds. To chirp is to utter a brief musical sound, perhaps often repeated in the same key as by certain small birds, insects, etc. To chirrup is to utter a somewhat similar sound. The word is often used of a brief, sharp sound uttered as a signal to animate or rouse a horse or other animal. To hum is to utter murmuring sounds with somewhat monotonous musical cadence, usually with closed lips. We speak also of the hum of machinery, etc. Skeptic Synonyms Agnostic, Atheist, Deist, Disbeliever, Doubter, Freethinker, Infidel, Unbeliever. The skeptic doubts divine revelation. The disbeliever and the unbeliever reject it. 
the disbeliever with more of intellectual dissent, the unbeliever, in the common acceptation, with indifference or with opposition of heart as well as of intellect. Infidel is an opprobrious term that might once almost have been said to be geographical in its range. The crusaders called all Mohammedans infidels, and were so called by term in return. The word is commonly applied to any decided opponent of an accepted religion. The atheist denies that there is a god. The deist admits the existence of god, but denies that the Christian scriptures are a revelation from him. The agnostic denies either that we do know or that we can know whether there is a god. Antonyms Believer Christian Sketch Synonyms Brief Design Draft Drawing Outline Picture Plan Skeleton A sketch is a rough, suggestive presentation of anything, whether graphic or literary, commonly intended to be preliminary to a more complete or extended treatment. An outline gives only the bounded or determining lines of a figure or a scene. A sketch may give not only lines, but shading and color, but is hasty and incomplete. The lines of a sketch are seldom so full and continuous as those of an outline, being, like the shading or color, little more than indications or suggestions according to which a finished picture may be made. The artist's first representation of a sunset, the hues of which to change rapidly, must of necessity be a sketch. Draft and plan apply especially to mechanical drawing, of which outline, sketch, and drawing are also used. A plan is strictly a view from above, as of a building or machine, giving the lines of a horizontal section originally at the level of the ground, now in a wider sense at any height, as a plan of the cellar, a plan of the attic. A mechanical drawing is always understood to be in full detail. A draft is an incomplete or unfinished drawing. A design is such a preliminary sketch as indicates the object to be accomplished or the result to be attained, and is understood to be original. One may make a drawing of any well-known mechanism or a drawing from another man's design, but if he says, the design is mine, he claims it as his own invention or composition. In written compositions, an outline gives simply the main divisions and, in the case of a sermon, is often called a skeleton. A somewhat fuller suggestion of illustration, treatment, and style is given in a sketch. A lawyer's brief is a succinct statement of the main facts involved in the case, and of the main heads of his argument on points of law, with reference to authorities cited. The brief has none of the vagueness of a sketch, being sufficiently exact and complete to form, on occasion, the basis of the decision of the court with our oral argument, when the case is said to be submitted on brief. Compare Design Skillful Synonyms Accomplished Adept Adroit Apt Clever Deft, dexterous, expert, handy, happy, ingenious, practiced, proficient, skilled, trained. Skillful signifies possessing and using readily practical knowledge and ability, having alert and well-trained faculties with reference to a given work. One is adept in that for which he has a natural gift improved by practice. He is expert in that of which training, experience, and study have given him a tour of mastery. He is dexterous in that which he can do effectively, with or without training, especially in work of the hand or bodily activities. In the case of the noun, an expert denotes one who is experienced in the fullest sense, a master of his branch or knowledge. A skilled workman is one who has thoroughly learned his trade, though he may be naturally quite dull. A skillful workman has some natural brightness, ability, and power of adaptation, in addition to his acquired knowledge and dexterity. Compare Clever Dexterity, power. Antonyms, awkward, bungling, clumsy, helpless, inexpert, maladroit, shiftless, unhandy, unskilled, untaught, untrained. Prepositions, skillful at or in a work, with a pen or tool of any kind. Slander, asperse, backbite, calumniate, decry, defame, depreciate, disparage, libel, malign, revile, traduce, vilify. To slander a person is to utter a false and injurious report concerning him. To defame is specifically and directly to attack one's reputation. To defame by spoken words is to slander, by written words, to libel. To asperse is, as it were, to bespatter with injurious charges. To malign is to circulate studied and malicious attacks upon character. To traduce is to exhibit one's real or assumed traits in an odious light. To revile or vilify is to attack with vile abuse. 
To disparage is to represent one's admitted good traits or acts as less praiseworthy than they would naturally be thought to be, as, for instance, by ascribing a man's benevolence to a desire for popularity or display. To libel or slander is to make an assault upon character and repute that comes within the scope of law. The slander is uttered, the libel, written, printed, or pictured. To backbite is to speak something secretly to one's injury. To calumniate is to invent as well as utter the injurious charge. One may abuse, assail, or vilify another to his face. He asperses, calumniates, slanders, or traduces him behind his back. Antonyms. Defend, eulogize, extol, laud, praise, vindicate. End of section 59. Section 60 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mario Pineda. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Slang to Stain. Slang. Synonyms. Cant. Colloquialism. Vulgarism. Vulgarity. A colloquialism is an expression not coarse or low, and perhaps not incorrect, but below the literary grade. Educated persons are apt to allow themselves some colloquialisms in familiar conversation, which they would avoid in writing or public speaking. Slang, in the primary sense, denotes expressions that are either coarse and rude in themselves or chiefly current among the coarser and ruder part of the community. There are also many expressions current in special senses in certain communities that might be characterized as slang, as college slang, club slang, racing slang. In the evolution of language, many words originally slang are adopted by good writers and speakers and ultimately take their place as accepted English. A vulgarism is an expression decidedly incorrect, and the use of which is a mark of ignorance or low breeding. Kant, as used in this connection, denotes the barbarous jargon used as a secret language by thieves, tramps, etc. Compare diction, language. Slow, synonyms, dawdling, Delaying, deliberate, dilatory, drowsy, dull, gradual, inactive, inert, lingering, moderate, procrastinating, slack, sluggish, tardy. Slow signifies moving through a relatively short distance or with a relatively small number of motions in a given time. Slow also applies to that which is a relatively long while in the beginning or accomplishing something. A watch or a clock is said to be slow when its indications are behind those of the standard time. Tardy is applied to that which is behind the proper or desired time, especially in doing a work or arriving at a place. Deliberate and dilatory are used of persons, though the latter might be used also of things as of a stream. A person is deliberate who takes a noticeably long time to consider and decide before acting or who acts or speaks as if he were deliberating at every point. A person is dilatory who lays aside, or puts off as long as possible, necessary or required action. Both words may be applied either to undertaking or to doing. Gradual, Latin gradus, a step, signifies advancing by steps and refers to slow but regular and sure progression. Slack refers to action that seems to indicate a lack of tension as of muscle or a will. Sluggish, to action that seems as if reluctant to advance. Antonyms. See synonyms for nimble. Sneer. Synonyms Fling, jive, jeer, mock, scoff, taunt. A sneer may be simply a contemptuous facial contortion, or it may be some brief satirical utterance that throws a contemptuous side light on what it attacks without attempting to prove or disprove. A depreciatory implication may be given in a sneer such as could only be answered by elaborate argument or proof, which would seem to give the attack undue importance. Who can review the sneer? Palais Moral Philosophy, Book 5th, Chapter 9. A fling is careless and commonly pettish. A taunt is intentionally insulting and provoking. The sneer is supercilious. The taunt is defiant. The jeer and jive are uttered. The jive is bitter and often sly or covert. The jeer is rude and open. A scoff may be in act or word and is commonly directed against that which claims honor, reverence, or worship. Compare banter. Preposition. Only an essentially vicious mind is capable of a sneer at virtue. Socialism. Synonyms. Collectivism. Communism. Fabianism. 
Socialism, as defined by its advocates, is a theory of civil polity that aims to secure the reconstruction of society, increase of wealth, and a more equal distribution of the products of labor through the public collective ownership of land and capital, as distinguished from property, and the public collective management of all industries. Its aim is extended industrial cooperation. Socialism is a purely economic term, applying to land ownership and productive capital. Many socialists call themselves collectivists and their system collectivism. Communism would divide all things, including the profits of individual labor, among members of the community. Many of its advocates would abolish marriage and a family relation. Anarchism is properly an antonym of socialism, as it would destroy, by violence if necessary, all existing government or social order, leaving the future to determine what, if anything, should be raised upon the ruins. Sound Synonyms Noise Note Tone Sound is the sensation produced through the organs of hearing or the physical cause of this sensation. Sound is the most comprehensive word of this group applying to anything that is audible. Tone is sound considered as having some musical quality or as expressive of some feeling. Noise is sound considered with a reference to musical quality or as distinctly unmusical or discordant. Thus, in the most general sense, noise and sound scarcely differ, and we say almost indifferently, I heard a sound, or I heard a noise. We speak of a fine, musical, or pleasing sound, but never thus of a noise. In music, tone may denote either the musical sound or the interval between two such sounds, but in the most careful usage, the latter is not distinguished as the interval, leaving tone to stand only for the sound. Note in music strictly denotes the character representing a sound, but in loose popular usage, it denotes the sound also, and becomes practically equivalent to tone. Aside from its musical use, tone is chiefly applied to the quality of the human voice by which feeling is expressed. As he spoke in a cheery tone, the word is similarly applied to the voices of birds and other animals, and sometimes to inanimate objects. As used of a musical instrument, tone denotes the general quality of its sounds collectively considered. Speak. Synonyms. Announce. Articulate. Chat. Chatter. Converse. Declaim. Declare. Deliver. Discourse. Enunciate, express, pronounce, say, talk, tell, utter. To utter is to give forth as an audible sound, articulate or not. To talk is to utter a succession of connected words, ordinarily with the expectation of being listened to. To speak is to give articulate utterance even to a single word. The officer speaks the word of command, but does not talk it. To speak is also to utter words with the ordinary intonation, as distinguished from singing. To chat is ordinarily to utter in a familiar conversational way. To chatter is to talk in an empty, ceaseless way like a magpie. Prepositions. Speak to, address, a person. Speak with a person, converse with them. Speak of or about a thing, make it a subject of remark. Speak on or upon a subject. In parliamentary language, speak to the question. Speech. Synonyms. Address. Discourse. Disquisition. Dissertation. Harangue. Language. Oration. Oratory. Sermon. Speaking. Talk. Utterance. A speech is the general word for utterance of thought in language. A speech may be the delivering of one's sentiments in the simplest way. An oration is an elaborate and prepared speech. A harangue is a vehement appeal to passion, or a speech that has something disputatious and combative in it. A discourse is a set speech or an indefinite subject intended to convey instruction. Compare conversation, diction, language. Antonyms. Hush, silence, speechlessness, stillness, taciturnity. Spontaneous. Synonyms. Automatic, free, impulsive, instinctive, involuntary, unbidden, voluntary, willing. That is spontaneous, which is freely done, with no external compulsion, and in human actions without a special premeditation or distinct determination of the will. That is voluntary, which is freely done with the distinct act of will. That is involuntary, which is independent of the will, and perhaps in opposition to it. A willing act is not only in accordance with will, but with desire. Those, voluntary and involuntary, which are antonyms of each other, are both partial synonyms of spontaneous. We speak of a spontaneous generation, spontaneous combustion, spontaneous sympathy, an involuntary start, an unbidden tear, voluntary agreement, willing submission. A babe's smile in answer to that of its mother is spontaneous. The smile of a pudding child whittled into good humor is involuntary. 
In physiology, the action of the heart and lungs is called involuntary. The growth of the hair and nails is spontaneous. The action of swallowing is voluntary up to a certain point beyond which it becomes involuntary or automatic. In the fullest sense of that which is not only without the will but distinctly in opposition to it or compulsory, involuntary becomes an antonym, not only of voluntary but of spontaneous, as involuntary servitude. A spontaneous outburst of applause is of necessity an act of volition, but so completely dependent of sympathetic impulse that it would seem frigid to call it voluntary, while to call it involuntary would imply some previous purpose or inclination not to applaud. Spy. Synonyms. Detective. Emissary. Scout. The scout and the spy are both employed to obtain information of the numbers, movements, etc., of an enemy. The scout lurks on the outskirts of the hostile army with such concealment as the case admits of, but without disguise. A spy enters in disguise within the enemy's lines. A scout, if captured, has the rights of a prisoner of war. A spy is held to have forfeited all rights and is liable, in case of capture, to capital punishment. An emissary is rather political than military, sent rather to secretly influence opponents than to bring information concerning them. So far as he does the latter, he is not only an emissary, but a spy. Stain. Synonyms. Blood. Color. Discolor. Disgrace. Dishonor. Dye. Soil. Spot. Sully. Tarnish. Tinge. Tint. To color is to impart a color desired or undesired, temporary or permanent, or, in the transitive use, to assume a color in any way, as he colored with shame and vexation. To dye is to impart a color intentionally and with a view to permanence, and especially so as to pervade the substance or fiber of that to which it is applied. To stain is primarily to discolor, to impart a color undesired and perhaps unintended, and which may or may not be permanent. Thus, a character dyed in the wool is a one that has received some early, permanent, and pervading influence. A character stained with crime or guilt is debased and perverted. A stain is, however, used of giving an intended and perhaps pleasing color to wood, glass, etc., by an application of coloring matter which enters the substance a little below the surface, in distinction from painting, in which coloring matter is spread upon the surface. Dyeing is generally said of wool, yarn, cloth, or similar materials, which are dipped into the color in liquid. Figuratively, a standard or a garment may be dyed with blood in honorable warfare. An assassin's weapon is stained with the blood of his victim. To tinge is to color slightly, and may also be used of giving a slight flavor or a slight admixture of one ingredient or quality with another that is more pronounced. End of section 60